Agent GPT is basically chat GPT AI chatbot on autopilot. So you could basically let it run on its own after you give it a goal to accomplish. I'll show you exactly how it works. There's another thing you might have seen called auto GPT. Basically auto GPT is more advanced because it runs on your local computer. What agent GPT did was it took auto GPT and it basically made a website out of it so anybody could use it and you don't have to run it on your local computer or know any type of coding or technical knowledge. It's exactly like chat GPT, but it could do things chat GPT just can't do. Let me show you what it is. So when you land on the link below, you'll come to agent GPT. This is just a website that's available to every single person. You just need the URL, you go to it and you could use it. I'm not signing yet. I'll show you that process. Basically what the purpose of this thing is, is you could assign it an end goal that you want to achieve. And it'll basically try to work towards that goal by creating to do lists and tasks for itself. So I basically give it one prompt. That's my goal. And then it will come up with other prompts on its own. Chat GPT requires you to follow up with manual prompts if you want more out of it. This will decide what the next prompt should be. And it just keeps working till it tries to achieve its goal. So some of the example it gives you travel GPT, plan a detailed trip to Hawaii. I'm going to show you YouTube GPT. So check this out. First, we need to sign in. So go ahead and press sign in here and you need to create yourself an account. You could sign in with your Google GitHub or Discord account. I'll sign in. I already created an account. Now, once you're in here, you do have some limited credits to test this out, but eventually it's going to ask for an API key. Basically, this is still using ChatGPT or technically it's using OpenAI, the API they provide. OpenAI is the company that created ChatGPT and GPT-4. This will basically tap into that API. But right now, let me just show you around and then I'll show you how to do that in a second. Right now, you can start completely for free. So the first thing you do is you name your agent. So in this case, I'm going to have YouTube GPT is my agent. And my goal is to create a YouTube channel that teaches AI and get to 100,000 subscribers with that YouTube channel. OK, so now that's all I had to do is name it. Give it a goal. I'm signed in. I'm just going to press deploy agent to show you what it does. Basically, it's going to give it that one prompt, the very first prompt I give it, and it's going to think, but it's going to create these tasks for itself. I don't have to give it a follow up prompt. It's just going to kind of run forever till I'm out of credits and I'll have to basically connect my API key, which I'll show you how to do. But if you look over here, basically it's researching and identifying popular AI related topics on social media platforms. And then it's basically going to give you some ideas on exactly what it's going to try to do next. Engage with YouTube community by responding to comments. Then it's going to collaborate with AI experts and content creators to produce high quality videos. Then it's going to develop a content calendar and regularly schedule the upload and maintain consistency to build an audience. And you could see it goes forever. And then these are the current tasks that is created for itself. And if you scroll up, sometimes it actually completes tasks too. So it's not just creating a to do list. It's trying to achieve those to do lists too on its own. So it's trying to complete them before moving on. So some of them require completion. Right now it doesn't have web access though. They've turned this off here inside of agent GPT. So you may need to look at auto GPT for example and run this locally more advanced technical but I'll make a separate video about auto GPT. Agent GPT right now doesn't have web access but it is doing a lot of different things that would take me a lot of research to figure out. And then you could see when it completes a task, it gives itself a check mark. It highlights it green and it moves on. And then eventually your demo will be complete, but you'll get a pretty good idea if you want to continue or if this is not a good fit for you. And then you could export, for example, the image and this image will be the entire chat. So if I open this image to show you, this is the entire chat that I just had or basically agent GPT had with itself. And I could see what kind of things it has done and accomplished in a very step by step way. Obviously, it can't go and create a YouTube channel for you. It doesn't have that kind of capability, but it's going to basically tell you everything it will do if it did have access to all those things and it will lay it out step by step and it will continue to go. So if you want to keep going with it, all you have to do is go to the settings tab right over here and then it just needs an API key that you need to type in. And I recommend use GPT 3.5 instead of 4 
because this does charge you sometimes just pennies to run it, but this is much cheaper than GPT-4. So where do you get this API key? Well, if you go to the OpenAI website, all you have to do is actually go and get yourself the API key from OpenAI. And OpenAI, the website openai.com slash blog slash openai dash API, basically that's where you need to go and click sign up. If you already have an account, you could sign in. Now, this is a little bit different than ChatGPT. This is basically their API that costs money. So if you're using ChatGPT, even the paid version of ChatGPT is not exactly this. This is a little bit different. So what you need to do is just go to personal, basically after you log in, go here and go to view API key. Now here you could just create a new key. Make sure this is a secret key. So make sure you save it and you don't share it with anyone because they could access your account this way with an API. Once you have this key, you could just copy and paste this key and you just have to paste that key over here and press save. So now you could deploy the agent again if you hit that maximum on the demo and it will again continue. It will start again from scratch and it will continue. Let me show you a quick new example. Travel GPT, create a romantic trip to Hawaii, deploy the agent. This time I have my API key so I won't hit the demo. And again, make sure you look into what it's going to charge you on the OpenAI side. It does charge you sometimes pennies to run this, but it could add up. So make sure you have some kind of limit set to that. Or don't do this if you don't want to spend any money. Just do the demo version of it. You could refresh that each time. And you could see, again, it's going to give me a whole travel plan. And then I could export that travel plan as a PDF. I could save it as an image. And then I could basically try to implement some of those tasks that is checked off for me. Obviously, right now, it doesn't have web access or any way to actually go on book trips for you or things like that. But that's probably not that far away. So you could see, again, it's completing tasks for me. And it's going to do full research. It's going to customize the itinerary for the trip. Again, it's going to try to arrange for transportation. Again, it can't do that, but it's trying to do that suggest different things like sunset cruises, couple hike, uh, <laughs> and it's gonna keep going. In this case, I'm gonna stop it, and then I could deploy it again here till it achieves its task and it has nothing else to do. So you can see it just manually shut down. They do have a FAQ section too to learn more. Give it a shot, just use the demo, see if it's something that you could benefit from, and I hope to catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.